Hey guys, how are you today? So can we all agree that Physician's Formula is just bringing it with the new products nonstop? There's a lot going on here. Um, not too long ago, I did a full review on the Butter line. I included Casey's new collection. We talked about the eyeshadow palettes, but there's also a whole other range in this brand that seems to be growing, and it's the healthy makeup. So we've already got the foundation, right? I have raved about it. Emily Award winner, serious favorite product. They have the healthy lip, which has also been a really good product in my eyes and it's a liquid lipstick and I've actually really enjoyed those but now that they've made the addition of the healthy powder and also the healthy eyeshadows I've got four of the five quads here that they're making yeah right off the bat when I noticed these I bought all four and then they snuck in a fifth later on and y'all I wouldn't be surprised if they throw in a concealer here in the next few days everybody's launching a concealer but what I'm gonna do today is really focus in on these four different products I know some you've heard me talk about before but I don't know that you've seen a lot of application from me with this so I want to show that going on, how it works with the powder, because I think it's actually pretty impressive. An eyeshadow look, some of my favorite lip colors, and just kind of review this whole subline of Physician's Formula. But you might be sitting there kind of unfamiliar with all this, and you're thinking, what makes it healthy? Like, how, how can they just slap that on here? And it is that these products claim to be infused with a lot of good stuff. Um, vitamins A, C, and E, for example, on the foundation. Hyaluronic acid and a brightening complex. I think that's mentioned with the powder as well. This foundation does contain SP SPF 20. The powder has an SPF in it as well of 16. It also claims to be compatible with all skin types and of any foundation I could really see that being true with this one because as I said like just in my favorites video it really doesn't go too matte or too dewy. It's a very natural skin like appearance and I think that's what a lot of us are deep down going for. Coverage wise I wouldn't call it full coverage but I would say it's a very strong medium coverage and it is buildable and when you build it it doesn't really exaggerate the look of makeup. You know, it looks very natural still. Also, there are 16 shades in this, which is a huge leap from the kind of shade offering that Physicians Formula had given in the past with different products. Also, like with the eyeshadows, ophthalmologist tested, dermatologist tested, hypoallergenic, paraben-free, fragrance-free, clinically tested, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. And you know, the fragrance-free, that's something they couldn't really say about the butter collection, right? Because that was loaded with fragrance. And I have had some skin sensitivities around my eye area, some actual irritation, and I've used these eyeshadows on top of that and nothing got worse. In fact, it all started to get better. I think this line could be a sensitive skin person's friend. But let's go ahead and get into the application and I'll talk more as we go about everything. I'll probably show concealer going on, even though I don't have a concealer from this line. I'll show you all those face steps coming together, foundation, concealer, powder, just because I think you're really going to like the look. So I have this foundation in the shade LN3 and it is such a perfect shade match. You're going to have this big buck foot applicator. I am slightly concerned with how we're going to get all the product out of here as we start to run low like it is a glass bottle which is nice and very expensive feeling and weighty and whatnot oh i may have to get out that little um makeup spatula that i have when this was newer i could get all over my face with like one dip into this but now as i've used more and more of it not as much comes out on the doe foot you know but it does have a little smell to it i don't know if it's a little nutty a little foodie or something, but it does go away once I blend it in, but just be aware. I don't think they're trying to heavily fragrance this product or anything, it's just the way it turns out to be, you know? Um, but I'm gonna dab this in with my beauty blender, and you can see the really just nice evenness that develops on my skin. Uh, perfect shade match, as I said. I had a hard time getting this contact lens in today. It did not want to play with me. Now, I just love that. That could not have been easier to blend out. It is such a good shade match. It really evened out my skin. And I think, you know what, for the heck of it, for the sake of this video, I am gonna build it a little bit and just show you how natural it continues to look. But I had a little extra right in here and I traveled with this over the holidays and I just thought, this is so easy. This is so foolproof, this foundation. It's not gonna set too fast on the skin. It doesn't require any special strategy, you know. I can use this beauty blender, but I can use a brush just as well, which is what I switch off using quite often. But really, considering that I'm not dealing with any major skin issues to cover up right now, this coverage level is just kind of ideal. It's buildable, I can add more in certain areas, it's nearing full, but it stays looking so freaking skin-like. So I'm not sure if I've ever 
never actually done an application of this on camera. It's been a long time coming. It's great and I have had it on my skin a lot. And like I said, I'm probably gonna have just missed the boat with this review and they'll come out with a concealer <laughs> pretty soon. I wouldn't be surprised, but I'm just gonna use my infallible full wear from L'Oreal. I have this in the shade Oatmeal and I'm gonna get a little bit of this around the eye area. Little goes a long way with this and a little around my nose. I'll be trying it if Physician's Formula does release a um, concealer, the healthy concealer, maybe the healthy corrector. Under eye brightness, check. If you haven't seen the video where I tried this out and kind of gave my review on it, it's the video called Drugstore Products That Surprised Me. And that one, I was not expecting as much out of it, but it is full coverage. Next, we're gonna move on to the Healthy Powder. So this would be one of the newer things. This and the eyeshadows. This again has SPF 16 and I have it in the shade LN3, which is the same shade that my foundation is in. And I would say this is perfect for me as well. That's really easy how that happened to work out for me with both shade numbers, but it might not be that way for everyone. You've got your powder here and then underneath it there is a sponge, but I've been using this with a brush and just using my e.l.f. small tapered brush and I will take this and kind of gently set my under eye just with a little bit of product on the brush and I find that this shade is light enough to just do everything I want it to do, you know? It'll set my under eye, it'll set my entire face, and I just feel like it meshes so well with the foundation, the look. Like, let's say you're like, me and you're really appreciative of how natural that foundation looks on the skin, but the last thing you want to do is pop a powder on top that's going to take all that away and make it look way too unnatural and just that really makeup-y look, you know? Well, I feel like I can apply this powder and it's just like a best friend to that foundation. It was a really good pairing, I feel like, what they did between these two products because they just wear so well together, work so well together. I don't know if I've mentioned a lot about the staying power of this foundation for me, but it's been very strong. I want to read you the description on this powder because they don't call it like obviously a powder foundation anywhere here on the packaging, but you read the description on Ulta's website and here's what it says. A long wearing, buildable, and breathable powder foundation that provides lightweight, medium to full coverage with a healthy satin finish. Maybe that's why I like the finished look so much because this even adds just a little bit of coverage. I have not tried this on its own purely as powder foundation, but the texture of it is really nice. I think a description like that is valid because just uh, quite a bit of product will come off on your brush if you're not being sort of careful with it. And it's just a very soft, creamy powder. When I put this on, I put it on very, very lightly. I'm very careful not to apply too much because I already do have that full foundation on and I know that this can carry some coverage. I just need a little bit and I feel like the finished look is so nice. Like my skin looks incredibly even. It's matte, but not too matte. But I have just, I mean, this is a big thing that just drove me to want to do this video. Video. It's a combination of this foundation and this powder because I think they work so well together And that's something we don't always see in the makeup world are two products from the same brand really working hand in hand You see so many people having the favorite foundation that's over here And then it's got to be this powder over here. Well, these two are really nice together So now I'm gonna do a few more face steps and I'll come back and we'll do an eye look Okay, friends. So here's where we're at now. I've got my bronzer blush highlight or bronzer slash contour blush and highlight and those all came from my lovely needs palette right here. Then I spritzed on a little bit of my L'Oreal Shake and Glow. That gave me a little setting mist and I've got my Physicians Formula Brow Last Long Wearing Brow Gel on right here. <laughs> Where else would it be? Next, like I said, I've got four of these Physicians Formula Healthy Eyeshadow Quads. They claim to be ultra creamy, highly pigmented, coordinated eyeshadows that can be mixed and layered, skin-loving blend infused with anti-aging peptides, collagen, and vitamin C and E. So there's some good stuff going on here. And I can say that when my eyes have been in a very sensitive place, I could use these and they did not make my problem any worse. Here's the thing though. These color selections, y'all, they're kinda, they're kinda tame. They're pretty boring, may I say. Um, that may be exactly what someone out there's looking for. You may not only have sensitive eyes, but you want a soft and gentle type of look as well. So let's talk about what we have here. I have used all of these in looks already, so I'll be popping up some pictures, but we have Canyon Classic. And you remember when Physicians Formula just made those little matte eyeshadow quads specifically, and one was Canyon Classic? The shade 
shades are slightly off, just a little off um, from what the old one used to be, but it's definitely like the same concept. You've got two pretty close matte, like kind of beigey, cool taupey shades, this gray and then a cream. And this is the one quad that is 100% matte. And this does give the naturally kind of contoured eye. It really mimics, I think, like the natural shadow. And the matte formula in here, like you just barely tap your brush in and you've got a lot of powder kicking up. So be aware of that. Acclimate yourself to that idea because it's potentially going to be a lot to deal with. And it reminds me a lot of like the way the mattes behaved in the butter formula. And also much like that formula, the shimmers can be a little more inconsistent. You're not going to see full on really super intense shimmers in this line. And generally speaking, I feel like they apply with brushes better than they swatch. I'm talking about the shimmers here specifically. But while this is kind of like your cool toned, naturally contoured eye, naturally shadowed eye. Um, this one is called Classic Nude, and it does have one shimmer down here, this dark brown, but the rest are mattes, um, again with the two semi-close shades, although these are a little bit further apart than the two in here. Now I will say I haven't used these a lot, but given the amount of powder that kicks up, I look at that cream shade and it looks like it's been really used when maybe it's only been used a couple of times. So with that amount of fallout and kind of dustiness, with regular use, I wouldn't be surprised if you hit pan on one of these things much quicker quicker than the average eyeshadow. The reason why I'm holding these up side by side is that I feel like this is the cooler contoured eye and this is more like the slightly warmer contoured eye. You know, both very, very natural. I prefer this one a little bit more because I like that you have the opportunity to go a little darker. In the look I did with this, um, I kept it very light and natural. I don't know that I even brought in that shade, but I like that it's there. Then we've got Rose Nude, and Rose Nude was kind of the most disappointing for me because it's all just really keeping in the same kind of zone. The rose really isn't all that rosy. It kind of blending in with these other colors that are at a really close color level, you know, these kind of mid-tones here. You do have this champagne-y type shade, which is kind of nice, but everything in here just kind of meshes into one. It doesn't look especially rosy. It just looks kind of a little muddy and there's not enough contrast happening because these three are all just kind of operating on a similar level of depth and the rose itself just isn't intense enough to really pop. The day I used Use this I couldn't help myself and I brought in um, the deeper shade from this other palette which is smoky bronze there's just a nice dark matte brown in here and I kind of use that to help amp up this look a little bit but this one really is probably the least impressive to me the one that offers the most intense look I think is this one called smoky bronze um, this is a prime example of shades that apply on the eyes better than they swatch I would say most people would see this gold swatched out and say mm, that doesn't look too promising. Most people would agree on that fact, but then you see it on the eyes, you think, well, I can definitely see it. It's really standing out. It applies and lays down better with a brush than with playing around with it on your hands and fingers. That really is what's most important. And in here, you're getting these two mattes, and then these two are shimmers, although not ultra metallic, as you can see in the finished look. But because you've got this nice dark brown, I feel like this has the potential to be the most intense quad. But one other thing to keep in mind with this one is that there is no real like highlighter shade necessarily um, unless you want to use this gold really really lightly not every skin tone may be able to pull that off but you might need to bring in something else as your highlight maybe just whatever highlight you're using on your face would probably be doable but I just wanted to point that out that it's not necessarily as much of a freestanding quad as these others are the thing is um, you, don't you love when the statements start with the thing is you know something not so great's coming but these are all shades that you're gonna see if you're if you've got a lot of palettes in your stash, you've probably seen a lot of these shades turning up. In a lot of cases, maybe time and time again. But I do think that these quads, this eyeshadow formula does seem to cater to sensitivity. They seem to be pretty gentle on the eyes, and if you feel like you're one who loves the cooler look, but you really don't find as many cool palettes, Canyon Classic really is kind of a nice thing to have. And I have been enjoying those kinds of simple looks these days, with just a very natural looking eye, if you don't even want to look like you have eyeshadow on, but you just want to accentuate the crease a little bit, give a little more shadowed effect, help it play into the rest of your done-up makeup look. This is 
really nice. And then pop on just some mascara, bold lip, boom. You're like old Hollywood right away. So that one I do like. The other one I kind of think is nice to have in this, like I said, very gentle, very eye-friendly formula is the classic nude. This really gives me everything I need. The deepest shade is deep enough. The lightest shade is light enough. And the in-betweeners work really well for me too. And I do tend to like that little bit warmer look. And it's still very classic, very effortless. The Smoky Bronze, I think, does give a nice look. But again, I do feel like I have enough of these shades in other places. And this wasn't really a 100% doing it all quad. And the Rose was kind of the most disappointing because there just wasn't enough contrast happening. So I'm going to use Classic Nude for you in this video today. I'm going to kick things off with a little Milani eyeshadow primer first, of course. Always love an eye primer. I don't care what the formula is. I'm going to be putting on an eye primer. I think sometimes it's like over the course of doing all your face makeup, what's happened to your eyelids? Have you gotten a little concealer or foundation on there here or there? Has a little powder turned up more on one eye than the other? And this, once you put on that primer, it's like you've equalized, you've normalized the texture on both lids, and you don't have potentially something different going on one eye to the next. I'm going to start with this shade right down here, and I want you to watch carefully what happens when a brush goes into just one tap, a pretty gentle tap, into one of those shades. A lot of powder kicks up and a lot is going to tap off that brush. So just be advised. That's a characteristic of these and it can make them I think a little more fussy to deal with, especially if it is a deeper shade where, you know, the little goes a long way principle definitely applies. Typically I tap off back over the pan. But here I just really wanted you to see as much as you could what was coming off that brush. But look how nice that looks in one step. See, you can't really argue with the pigment, can you? I think what I'm going to do next is actually take this slightly lighter shade here, again with the fallout, but I'm going to go a little bit above. And this is going to be like just a super easy blending type color because it very easily takes you out of that slightly deeper zone and just helps it merge with the skin a bit more. So easy. Then we're gonna go to the cream. This is maybe the biggest offender of all that fallout. They're just so soft. I think they've really made a good effort to create a soft eyeshadow, but it's a, it's a little much. Now you're not gonna see that so much with the shimmers. I think I said this before, but it's the mattes that are really doing that. And they give you the sponge tip, and I tried to use the sponge tip like one of the first days I picked up one of these quads, and I thought, oh my gosh, like it's almost sinking into the product too much, you know? I'm gonna take some of that matte as well now with a flat brush, and I'm just gonna start patting this on my lid, just the inner part here. Super basic look, but I want you to kind of take in all the steps. That feels very full coverage to me, the way that matte went down on the lid. And now we're gonna work in the one shimmery shade here. So this deep brown. Now I go into that, I get like nothing really kicking up, hardly anything to tap off excess wise. And this deep brown is pretty like, I don't know, neutral, even cool you might say. and you could leave out this darkest shade and really have a soft look. But the shimmers can be less really truly what you see is what you get, you know what I mean? Because look how dark the brown seems in this quad and then I have to do a little building with that, whereas with the mattes you really don't. But I'm going to take a smaller crease brush like this Morphe one and just use a little bit of that dark brown again to bump up my outer corner. I frankly do really like the idea of using a collagen infused um, eyeshadow. I think that's pretty cool. And again, the friendliness to sensitivity, I think is a great thing. I've got it mostly like outer corner, little on the lid as I showed, but it's a really, you know, nice classic eye look there. Use that little kind of peachy shade if you need to do any blending. And I think you'll be really happy with the way that all kind of comes together. And then using a pencil brush, I'll take a little bit of that medium brown and just lightly define the lower lash line. This is for kind of that 
you can't put your finger on it, but the eye got defined. It doesn't look like eyeliner look. <laughs> okay, there we go. A little more intense look than I originally did with the classic nude quad, but very happy with the way it turned out. I think you just got to be aware of what you're getting into. Some of these shades are going to be very powdery, but at the same time, they are going to lay down a good amount of product and build up and blend very easily and quickly. So now I'm just going to apply some mascara and I'll be back to talk lips. Okay, there's the eye look with the mascara on. Nice and finished there. Now I want to talk about the healthy lip because I think this is a really strong drugstore matte liquid lipstick. Now it is going to have that sort of dry down quality that these things tend to have and that's not always my favorite thing. However, if there can be a practical benefit to it like really good staying power or it's not going to make my lips feel completely parched or like this different layer that I've sometimes referred to as shrink wrap over your lips that makes them feel like you can't move them. To me, it's not really an uncomfortable dryness and my lips don't come away at the end of the day after wearing one of these feeling just super parched. Also, I think this is a nice formula to wear some different bold colors in and you really have no concern of it drifting outside the lips. In fact, my mom, who is a diehard CoverGirl Outlast lover, um, has even enjoyed some of these because I gave her a set of minis and it also came with a gloss and she uses the gloss on top and she says it doesn't cause it to bleed outside her lip lines or anything, but she likes that there for the comfort level because otherwise it would feel pretty dry and she is used to the CoverGirl Outlast process that involves a balm on top. So that's kind of what she's come to expect. But I think she was telling me yesterday because I was kind of quizzing her on what she really thought. And the takeaway was that as is, these don't feel as dry as CoverGirl Outlast does if you don't have anything to put on top. For me, I feel like I've experienced a pretty nice wear down with these and that's kind of a biggie. There are a couple big things with these that they're doing right. They're not like changing colors. Like I don't see a big color shift once they have dry down because with some brands that's a big problem. You think you're starting out with one shade that you see in the tube and then it dries down and it looks like several shades darker. These don't do that. Also as they wear down I don't feel like I get a really unsightly like ring around the lips that looks like just lips that haven't been filled in but all the outside's still there. There seems to be a more even wear with these. Now it's not going to take me flawlessly through an entire day. If you break down at lunchtime and you're like I'm eating these chips and salsa it's going to start to wear on you and if you weren't wearing a particularly bold shade to begin with, it might disappear. But even to touch up one of these colors like on the go, you don't feel like you've given yourself like a whole new product over dry product. It's not really a problem in that sense. But I think what I'm going to do today is do a little try on of some of my favorites. This pointed doe foot applicator, I feel like really makes the application of these products a complete breeze. You have all the precision you could want. It really gets out to the edge of your lip nicely without going over. But this is one of my favorite favorite shades and it's called All Natural Nude and I just really like the color intensity level here. I think it's a nude without like erasing your lips. It's definitely not too light. It may not last with the same intensity that some of these darker ones will. That's just kind of the way lip products work. Another shade that I've really grown to like is this one called Nutritious. All the shade names are pretty cheesy here. Let's just get that out of the way. <laughs> this is like a nice little brownie neutral with I think some red infused in it also and I really enjoy it. Like, I think it's kind of glam, but not in the most traditional sense. I don't know. It makes me think a little bit more 90s glam, especially with this eye look. I don't know. I'm really feeling the look. This one is Vitamin Beat, and this was one of the first ones from this line back when they first launched that really spoke to me, but I, I love this shade so much. It's such a pretty berry. And another thing about this formula, um, it's not something that makes your lips look dry. While there is a dry down that takes place as you've got it on for a little while, I just don't feel like they exaggerate lines in the lips. And to explain that dry down further, it's something where I think you've really got to be actively pulling the color from the lips for it to transfer off. If you gently just like take a sip out of your cup, you're not going to see it on there. But if you really rub on it, you can pull some away. And then there are two outstanding reds in this line. Um, Red Storative Effects is the one I've got on now. And this is the one I think I've described in the past as kind of a toasted red. It's a red with a little bit of brown and a little bit of warmth in there. And I think it's actually kind of unique because so many of the slightly warmer reds you may see just are very bright and kind of tomatoey and stuff. And this one, I don't know, just has a little depth to it and I find it very flattering. But I also love this one and I lost the sticker but I'm pretty sure it's called Fight Free Reticles. This is more of like your true, very classic, cool red. And I like both shades on me. Really excellent reds and again, I like All Natural Nude, I like Nutritious, and I like um, Vitamin Beat. My mom 
mom's favorites, she texted me. She said, I like the tulip treatment one. This is kind of a coral. And the one called Bear With Me. So this is the other, like, kind of nude. There's two that I'd call nudes in this line. Light nudes, let's say. And this is the one that I had tried on, and then this is the one that mom likes, which is a little more peachy coral. There are 13 shades total, and this is what the rest of the line looks like. It's just like more pinks. There's a really bright pink. There's an even deeper, darker shade. But Vitamin Beet is just totally my favorite that might fall into this color family, so everything else is just kind of like in the middle for me. But friends, I hope this video helped you out on this healthy healthy line of makeup from Physicians Formula. I think really the coolest thing that's going on right now, I love this foundation and I love the powder with it. And I just think they make a great combo and the look on the skin is so nice. I mean, that little highlight from my needs palette doesn't hurt, but I love the staying power, just the finish on the skin. I think it's really special that you get something that's so natural looking yet does still cover with this product. And then with the addition of the powder, I think you might be upping your coverage just slightly, but not looking powdery and dry and enhancing staying power. The lips, just told you how I feel about the lips. I think they're one of the stronger um, like drugstore liquid lip products out there. And a good range, plenty to choose from. I was able to find things I liked pretty much across the spectrum from nude to red to berry to brown. The thing that's really just going to depend on personal preference and your needs and what you like to see in an eyeshadow, these quads. The colors are just so basic. If you're judging these strictly by colors, you probably have these elsewhere. But maybe you have really sensitive eyes and some things have irritated you left and right and you want to try something that might have a chance at being more gentle. This might be something to look into. And some people do really like to just go for a smaller shade selection and not have a whole palette to choose from. And if you like natural looks, here's your naturally contoured kind of cool eye. And here, like I have on today, is your kind of naturally contoured with a chance to go a little darker, slightly warmer eye. If you've tried any of these products, of course, let me know how it went for you in the comments and I will talk to you again very soon. Bye.